Hi everyone and welcome to today's workout. Today we're gonna be going for lower body and we're gonna have three different parts for this workout. All I'm using is a plate. I'm using 10 kilos and something to slide with, which I'm also gonna use as extra padding at some point. But if you don't have a plate at home, a kettlebell, dumbbell, anything like that will make it. So even if you wanna have two things, if you wanna have some a kettlebell that it's heavier and a dumbbell that it's a little bit lighter for some exercises, that works. I'm gonna be using just a plate today and uh, that's it. We are gonna start standing up. We're gonna work through, through two different exercises, goblet squats and lunges for three rounds, just those two. I'm using the plate, okay? So we're gonna come up to stand. Goblet squat would be finding that squat position with the legs, holding your kettlebell, dumbbell, or plate in front of your chest, and right from there, just squatting down and coming back up to stand. We're gonna go for 12 reps, okay? So grab your weight, <clears throat> bring it forward in front of your chest, find your stance, and right from here, we begin. Lower down into that squat, press up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Release that for a moment. We are gonna go to lunches. You can decide if you wanna step back, knee taps, and forward, or if it works better for you, to step forward, knee taps, and you come back. We're gonna be switching legs. I am gonna go with overhead. So I'm gonna grab my plate, and I'm gonna place it on top of my head while I do those lunges. You can decide. You keep it in front of your chest. You can decide. You grab one dumbbell, and you press it up towards the ceiling, do six on one arm, six on the other one, or you can just, if you're using two dumbbells, release them down by your sides as you do the lunges, okay? Anything that works for you, you decide. It's just moving with the lower body. We're gonna go for a total of 12. So it's gonna be six on each side. And I'm gonna stand on the top and I'm gonna step back for this one, okay? So find what you're gonna do with your weight, in front of your chest, up or down by your sides. And we begin, step your right foot back or forward for one, two, keep switching sides, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good, come back up. Release that for a moment, because you have it on your hands the whole time. That was round one. We're gonna repeat that two more times. Now you know what we're doing, okay? Goblet squats, grab your weight, and here we go, we begin. Lower, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right from there, this time I'm gonna go to the back of the mat, I'm gonna press up towards the ceiling, 12 lunges. We step forward, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Good, release that. Give your arms a break and we move into that third round, okay? As always, if this feels light for you, and you have something heavier at home, grab the heavier version, okay? Anything, feels easy, go heavier. 
No problem if you have the opportunity. If you cannot go heavier, incre increase the reps. That works. Goblet squats. Bring it in towards your chest. Find your stance. And we go lower. Press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Find what you want to do front or back of your mat. 12 lunges, bring the weight to your position, and we begin. Step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There you go. Now that's done. We are going to come down to the floor. First one we're going to do, now we have three different exercises. We're going to move between kneeling leg extensions, glute bridge, and hamstring slides. Sounds fun, I'll show you what it is. First, we're gonna go off with those kneeling leg extensions. I'm gonna use a little bit extra pad on my knees. You're gonna come up to stand on your knees. You can point. You can also flex and tuck your toes on the floor. I'm gonna point. Now I want you to think the lower ribs, hug it down towards the hips a little bit. So you find a little bit of tuck through the tailbone and contraction through the front of the abdomen. Right from here, any amount you can, you press the tops of the feet down on the floor, stretch the arms forward and lean back, and then you press back up to center. Just to complicate my life a little bit, <laughs> I'm gonna grab the plate and have it with me on the chest. So I'm not gonna be going super deep, I'm just gonna work through where I can resist and coming back, okay? You decide weight or no weight. Grab it if you're using it, get onto your knees, Good, tuck your tailbone, hug the front ribs down towards the hip so you're not flaring the ribs forward. And right from here, we're gonna lean back five times. Press the tops of the feet down and lean. Press back up for one, hug in. Lean, press for two, lean, press for three, two more. Lean back, forward, four, lean, and five. We're gonna get onto our backs. I'm gonna bring my extra pad with me into bridge pose. Now, as I go into bridge pose, I'm gonna grab the weight, and I'm gonna place it on top of my hips. So I'm using the pad just to get it a little bit softer. Place your feet on the floor, we're gonna go single leg. So it means, we're gonna go for bridge. I'm gonna tuck my tailbone in. One leg is gonna be on the air. I'm gonna lower and press back up. Eight times per leg. It's gonna get tough, okay? If you want no weight, do it with no weight. Find that bridge position. Bring your feet in close together so you have the feet more in the center. And right from there, tuck your tailbone in. Lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Support the weight with your hands. Keep your right foot on the floor. Stretch your left leg forward, and we begin. Lower down and press up. For one, tuck your tailbone. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Switch sides, feet together. Lift the hips up, tuck your tailbone. Stretch the right leg, we go. Lower for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower that down. Good. 
And right from there, we're gonna go with hamstring slides. You're gonna bring this light forward towards the top of the mat. You're gonna find that bridge position again, lifting the hips, tucking your tailbone. You're gonna slide the hips, the heels forward, and then you're gonna pull back in into bridge. 10 times. Get ready to cramp. Good. Bring this light to the floor. Arms down to the sides of the body. Tug your tailbone in, lift the hips. Bridge any amount you can. Slide the feet forward. Keep the hips in the air and pull back. That's one. If this feels super difficult, just work on sliding forward, lowering the hips and come back into bridge. Slide forward, press back for two. Slide, three. Hips are in the air the whole time. Slide, four. Slide, five. Slide, six. Slide, seven, slide, eight, two more, slide, nine, you got it, and 10, Woo. release that down, feel your hamstrings, give them a shake, we are going back to kneeling leg extensions, five times, support the knees as you need to, weight or no weight, Front ribs, pull back towards the hips. Tuck your tailbone in. Five times, here we go. Press back and forward. One, lean for two. Lean for three. Lean four. Lean five. Bridge pose. Get down, bring the weight on top of your hips. Good, feet together, tuck your tailbone, lift the hips. Single leg, right foot stays on the floor, left leg in the air, and we go lower, press up. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Switch sides. Feet together, left foot stays on the floor. Tuck your tailbone, lift the hips up. Right foot in the air, and we go lower. One, two, three, four, five. Stay with me. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. We did we do ten? I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> I lost it. Give you place your right foot on the floor. We need to do it two extra on the right side. Good. And we go. Lift up one and two. Wow. There you go. Okay. Hamstring slides for ten times. You know what? We can do ten and ten. Bridge. Glute bridges next time too. Feet on the floor. Find your bridge. Tuck your tailbone, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Keep the hips up high and we slide forward and back. One, slide. Two, slide. Three, slide. Four, slide. Five, slide. Six, Slide, seven, slide, eight, slide, nine, slide, ten. Whew. Okay, that was round number two. Let's go for that third one. Come back onto your knees. Kneeling leg extensions. On your knees. Grab your weight if you're using it. Tuck your tailbone, front ribs down to the hips. Five times, press the tops of the feet on the floor. Lean back and back up. For one, lean. Two, lean. Three, lean. Four, 
lean back, five, good, glute bridge, legs forward, place your weight onto your hips, lay on your back, feet together, lift the hips up, tuck your tailbone, right foot stays down, left leg in the air, and we go lower, press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, Ten. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Feet together. Tuck your tailbone. Lift the hips up into that bridge. Keep the tailbone tucked. Right leg in the air. And we go ten times lower. Press one, two, three, four, five. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one and release. There you go. Roll forward. Your lats, 10 hamstring slides. Come to the top of the mat. Place your slide on the floor and lay back into that breach. Good. Tuck your tailbone in. Lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Keep the tailbone like that, slide forward and back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one. 10 and release. Give yourself a couple of breaths. Take a sip of water if you need it before we move into that third part, which would be pistol squats and sumo pulses. Now, pistol squats, uh, if pistol squats uh, are not really your thing, you're gonna grab a chair and we're gonna work from sitting on a chair, imagine I'm sitting, pressing one foot on the floor, the other one is in the air, and I press back up to stand. Maybe you can sit back again, or you use your both feet, you sit, and then you press back up to stand with the other one, okay? If pistols is something you can do, or you can modify, you can go for that, okay? We are gonna do a total of six pistols, so three on one leg, and three on the other one. And then we're gonna move to sumo squats, pulses, 20 pulses. We're gonna do those three, those two, for three rounds, okay? So let's begin with the pistols. Come to the center of where you are, grab your chair, or hold on to something if you're supporting yourself. We start with the right leg, right foot stays on the floor. We lower that into that pistol, and press back up. For one, switch legs. Pistol, press back up. Two, three, four, five, and six. There you go. Grab your weight, bring it in front of you. Go wide with the legs, toes out, and then find a wide stand squat. Right from here, we're gonna pulse 20 times. You ready? Get down and we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press it up. Pistol squats. Come back to stand. Right foot on the floor, and we go. We switch legs, lower down, press up. One, two, three, four, five, 
and six. Grab your weight. Sumo squats. Go wide with the leg, with the legs. Lower that, and we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and press it up. Last one. Pistols six times. Find it. Right foot down. And we go. Lower down. Press up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Sumo squats. Anyone? <laughs> Good. Go wide with your feet, toes out. Seat. And we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, oh my God. My legs. Okay. <laughs> Release that. Shake it out. That's it. We're finished. If you feel like going for a little bit extra of one of these three sets, go for that. Otherwise, I will leave you here. Thank you so much for working out with me today. I'll see you next time.